You may have heard about her store or even tried its coffee. You may have attended an event that she organized without even knowing that she put it on. She may have an influence on your child's Halloween costume, or you may run into her on Sundays at Mass. Her name is Abby, and she owns Tri Bees in Toronto, Ohio. Many may know of the shop, but we are here to tell you about the woman behind it. Beans and bric-a-brac, so the coffee beans, and then bric-a-brac is a Victorian word for like knickknacks and antiques. So that was a way to like incorporate my antiques and then also the coffee shop. And then when I bought this building, it was perfect because it's a Victorian age building. In early 2019, Abby was in a corporate role as an HR business partner in the city of Pittsburgh. Little did she know that in just 365 days, her life would look a whole lot different, starting by moving back to her hometown of Toronto, Ohio. I was in a corporate role as an HR business partner and I was laid off. Um, at that time, I also had wanted to adopt and also became pregnant with my other son. And so all of that happened in the year of 2020 and 2021. So all at once, I was laid off from my job, had adopted a son and was pregnant. Still through hard work and perseverance, Abby wanted to see her dream come true. And just not one of them, but many. My husband and I had tried to have uh, a baby for six years. Uh, we did infertility um, and it didn't happen. So whenever I got laid off from my position, we, had, we were ready to proceed with adoption. But during the summer of the adoption process, Abby, with her husband, miraculously became pregnant naturally as well. It was a crazy time. And then again, opening the coffee shop six months after that. So it, it was a lot at once, but it's like a wild ride. I wouldn't change it. Abby opened the shop with the help of her brother, who was a barista for many years in Columbus, and her husband, who works as a carpenter. Together, the dream became a reality. When I saw the Addison Achievers, I thought, you know what, I've, I've got to nominate Abby because she has actually revitalized downtown Toronto. I mean, when she opened this business, everybody was behind her, and especially with her adoption and her family. It was a true love story. I'm going to cry. So then when she bought this building, like I said, she has revitalized downtown Toronto. Abby is now the president of the revitalization committee in the city. She brought community days back to the area and encourages other businesses to take part in holidays and special events. Although Marlene sees Abby in the community on a weekly basis, she shares a special connection with her. Mrs. Wolf was Abby's fifth grade teacher. She strived for perfection and you know, you could tell. And there was never an excuse. And if, if you don't succeed, try, try again. And, and that was her. To see a small girl from fifth grade, see her dream come true, you know, I mean, what, what better way to celebrate than the nominator for that? Abby spends the time coming up with special menu items to match events happening in the community. She creates special offers to give back to teachers and nurses. She even hosts events like class reunions and holiday photo ops in order to bring people together. It's more than a coffee shop, it's a place to gather. And in the morning, the table behind, you know, behind you guys there, there's a group of guys that sit there every morning and you, you don't take their seats. I mean, they all have, just like in Cheers, you know, they walk in, hey, hey, weed, you know, hey, muff. Hi, guys. What I do here at Tribees and for the community is try to be a good role model. Um, I love when, um, you know, girls dress up as a Tribees barista. I love when people make a Tribees Valentine's box. I love when we can have kid events, just as many adult, you know, cocktail hours. We try to have as many kids' events where they can you know, do a bounce house in the street, do a movie in the street, um, do friendship bracelet making. Um, I think it's really important because we do have, you know, a great community, a great school um, where all the girls and boys can come and just hang out and, you know, have a place to chill. We also caught up with her two other dreams, Elliot and Easy. They love mom's shop and will hopefully take over one day. But until then, Abby says that she just enjoys the time that she has with them, wanting whipped cream and high fives. Looking back, I honestly wouldn't change a thing. Um, I think that every, it, like the saying, dreams come true, it's accurate. Like if you believe it, you can achieve it. I really do believe that. Congratulations to business owner and mother of two, Abby Baker LeMasters, as she continues to live out her dreams. If you would like to nominate someone in your community, head to our website, WTOV9.com. For now, I'm Addison Elbert with News 9's Addison's Achievers. 
Hi, I'm Dylan Cleland. Thanks for watching. And here's another video to check out and be sure to subscribe to our channel.